Hello, my name is Kedem Mendoza, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to execute a room clearing or battle drill six. We're going to do that in a center fit room and a corner fit room. So first, you have to approach the building, and uh, you can approach the building in different ways. You can approach the building in a line formation, uh, wedge formation, or diamond formation, formation, whichever you think uh, works the best for your situation. So the fire team is going to stack uh, right outside the door, and uh, the order that you want to keep is you should uh, uh, you want your number one guy to be your rifleman, and you want your number two guy to be your team leader, you want your number uh, three guy to be your grenadier, and you want your number four man to be your automatic rifle. So first thing. Number one guy is going to identify uh, if the door, whether the door is open or closed, and he's going to say, "All right, door open, door closed." So door is closed, and uh, the team leader is going to uh, call for the breacher, which happens to be the fourth guy. So the fourth guy is going to make his way over here, and he's going to inspect the door. He's going to be looking for booby traps. Uh, he's going to see if there's any wires, anything out of the normal. But everything is clear right here. And uh, last thing that the breacher wants to do is to touch the door. Uh, he does not want to wipe his uh, his hands on the door because if he touches a wire or something like that, he's just going to activate a booby trap. So they also uh, number one and number four guy is they're going to identify which way the door opens. So if they can see hinges, that means that the door opens outwards. And if they cannot see hinges, that means that the door opens inwards. So once um, they do that and they're ready to go, the team leader is going to give the signal to go to go into the room. So team leader can uh, gives the signal, and it can either be a squeeze on the leg, a tap on the shoulder, um, leaning on top on on the first guy, or yeah, it's just saying go or something like that. So number one guy. He's always right. He's going to uh, decide whether to go right or left, and that's based on uh, taking the path of less resistance. So in this case, the path of less resistance is going right. So he goes right. He clears this corner, and uh, he's going to clear this corner before doing anything else. Once he clears this corner, he's going to uh, clear the other corner, and he's going to make his way over here, and he's going to uh, point his weapon towards the middle. So his sector supplier should be something like this. All right, then uh, the second guy uh, that goes inside is the team leader, and the team leader is going to go opposite of the first guy. And he's going to go left in this case, and he's going to clear this corner before turning into the middle. So he clears that corner first, uh, and then he's going to his sector of fire are these ones. Now, keep in mind that uh, there should be at least one meter from uh, from where the the left limit of the number one guy is to the team leader or the number two guy, and same thing for the number two guy. So once the team leader enters the room, uh, the third guy should enter the room, and he's going to go opposite of where the team leader went or the number two guy. So in this case, he's going to go to the right and just go inside the room. And he doesn't have any uh, corners to clear because uh, number one guy already cleared that corner. And he's going to, uh, his sector of fire is going to be something like this. Then uh, the last guy is going to come if necessary and he's going to come and goes, he's going to go opposite of the third guy, number three guy. Then he's just, go, just going to go just inside the door. And he, like I say, he doesn't have to clear any. Uh, uh, corners because number two guy already cleared his corner and he's in that corner so he should if he does that he's, he'll he will be flagging his uh, team leader and his sectors of fire are going to be something like this that's how you clear a room in a center fed uh, uh, room now let's talk let's talk about a corner fed room uh, so the concept is pretty much the same uh, the only thing is that the only difference is that the door is not in the middle, now it's in the corner, right? So 
for number one, one guy, that corner means that that's his first corner to clear. Number one guy is always going to clear two corners. Number two guy is going to clear one corner, and uh, and three and four are going to take the middle or the doors in some occasions. So, all right. So number one guy, they do the same thing. Uh, for this, the door was open, so they didn't need a breacher. So uh, team leader gives the uh, tab or the signal to go inside. So number one uh, guy goes inside, takes the path of less resistance, and clears. He clears this corner, then clears that corner, and then he turns towards the middle. Then team leader is going to turn, uh, going opposite of number one guy, and he's going to clear that corner. Then he's going to turn towards the middle. Then number three guy is going to go opposite of the second guy, and he's just going in, just inside the room. And last guy is going to go opposite of the third guy, and he's going just going to go just inside of the room. And their sectors of fire should be something like this. And like I say, there should be at least one meter uh, from the right limit. Uh, from uh, should be at least one meter uh, distance uh, from the number two guy to where the right limit of the number one guy is. So like I say, uh, this is how you clear a room. Uh, so this is how you remember uh, how uh, how many corners you take. So. One takes two, two takes one, and three and four takes the middle or the door. So number one guy is always going to take two corners. Number two guy is always going to take one corner, and three and four are going to take either the middle or the door. Sometimes you can have your uh, four guy take the door uh, to make sure nobody's coming into the door if you're going to spend some time in there. So you can take that door and make sure like everybody's behind covers and something like that. So yes, my name is uh, Cadet Mendoza and that's how you clear your room.